Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am joined by a guest. My first ever real one because my sister doesn't count. <laughs> I mean, she does, but like, not That's quite. exciting, I didn't realize I was yeah. your first ever guest. Yes. Wow, fancy me. <laughs> yes. So this is Jessie, she owns Closet Candy. Um, how would you, what would you describe Closet Candy as? Uh, so Closet Candy is a personal styling service slash fashion style inspiration for anyone who follows me. Um, I started it as a blog. It was just a personal blog where I would share my outfits, um, fuck, eight, ten years ago, ten years ago, I think. And then two years ago, I turned it into a business where I help women um, embrace their personal style and figure out how the hell to wear what they own and how to shop smart. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that description. Yeah, thank you. Including the swearing, because yes. like, we like to swear around here. I do, yeah. So, can't Listen, help it. I talk about boobs all the time. Maybe it's the I swear. It's, Maybe I have no it's filter. Like swear. No yeah, filter. Me neither. Just, anyway, so Jesse has styled five looks for me. Mm -hmm. We're going to go through them over the course of a week. And I'm going to sort of like vlog while she describes, you know, why I'm wearing it or why she picked it. Mm -hmm. And um, this is kind of an experiment for me because I usually just put on the same thing every day, like jeans and a t-shirt and call it a day. Sometimes I don't even put on pants. No judgment. The joys of working from home. It's true. So um, I thought this would be a really fun experiment and you just launched your virtual styling, Oh, I right? did. Yeah. yeah. That's you true. forgot. <laughs> I, maybe. Maybe. So you now work with clients virtually. I do. Right? Yeah. I helped a woman in the UK uh, style, oh my god. I made 120 outfits for her out of 20 items, I think. Jeez, you know, so, you need to develop like a software. I, so there is a software that exists and I, I want to show you it later. Somebody just plans your outfits for you ahead of time. Works. You don't have to think about exactly. it. Exactly. So it's like, like if you want your outfits every Monday or every Sunday, obviously not every Monday, mm -hmm. that would be a little too yeah. but every Sunday for the week ahead. Yeah. 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 I know. Really easy. Changing the game here. That's that's really cool. Yeah. I wouldn't mind that at all. Yeah, <laughs> I know. That's and it's still personal because you're still building the outfits yes. for them. Yeah, and I FaceTime. Yeah. Like I FaceTime with my clients. Like if it's if you've put the outfit on but it, you're not feeling it, I'm yeah. gonna we're gonna FaceTime and I'm gonna be like, Okay, let's roll up the sleeves, let's tuck this in, let's move this, let's put your hair up mm -hmm. and give those extra tips that are gonna make them feel their best. You can tweak everything for them, just like you if you were right there with them. Yes, exactly. Which and is why I'm like, we're doing this and yeah. I haven't even seen these on you yet. And I'm I like, know. I don't know. You're like gonna, I haven't you're seen gonna them get on pictures. All yes, week. That's true. And like my goal is to basically like take an outfit photo yes, every day perfect. and like post it as I wear it and Sweet. things like that okay. or maybe just save them all for yeah. the very end when I put up the video but yeah. like still we'll see yeah yeah and so at the very least yeah. you will be seeing them yes and it's gonna push I'll me outside of them. my yeah yeah exactly. it's gonna push me out of my style comfort so, zone which yeah. is um I have styled five outfits for Danielle here and I'm just gonna walk you guys through um why I've styled them and how I've styled them the way that I have so I wanted to start with leopard pants because um leopard pants are my favorite thing in the whole world and Danielle actually mentioned to me that she's got a vest because she loves vests, but she's never worn it because she doesn't know how. So I really wanted to focus on that and style it in a way that was going to be easy and simple. So what I've done is I've picked the vest with a nice black tee. And what she's going to do is she's going to pair these two together. Um, I haven't seen it on her yet, so I may suggest something like tucking in the shirt to the pant. Um, to add a little bit of dimension there, or she might just leave it hanging. It depends on what she's going to prefer. Um, we have a long pendant necklace because that always draws the eye down, nice and long and lean, and it adds a little bit of interest as well. And then I have her, I never remember what this guy's called, this bracelet, I that hand. Um, it's something important, but anyway, she's got a cute little dainty um, gold bracelet that's just going to add a little bling to her wrist uh, and that's outfit number one and then outfit number two I wanted to stick with the leopard pants um, because I wanted to show her two different ways to wear them she hasn't worn them yet because they're new for spring they've got a little bit of a cropped ankle and it's still it's March 8th and it's still snowy outside so just bear with us to get some spring um, I wanted to show her an edgy way to wear this so the first outfit was kind of chic it could work for if she had an interview or if she was going to meet a client um, this one is more so if she was um, working 
or if she was going in to meet some friends, but not working from home, working at a cafe, and she still wanted to look cute and cozy, she could throw on these pants with this sweater. It's her favorite sweater at the moment, nice, big, and cozy. And then I've just got another little necklace to add some bling, but it's not too fancy. And I did ask Danielle if she had any scarves, because I thought like a nice black scarf would be good to break it up. But she doesn't have that, and instead we've got a beanie. So beanies are great. This is going to add a little more edge to the look um, on top. And I think I will put that look with sneakers as well. So that she's real comfy all the way down. So that's it for the leopard pants. Um, when I'm going through someone's closet, I like to look for things that stand out. Um, I have a bold style and Danielle kind of gave me free reign. She's like, you can just style me whoever you want. It doesn't have to be my style. It could be your style. So this skirt is very much my style. I fucking, I love it. It's big, it's bold, it's colorful. Danielle actually made this. And did you say you haven't worn it yet? Or you, once. Well, once, okay. So it's just, it's fantastic. And it's gonna be beautiful for spring. And whenever I see a skirt that has this much color in it, what I do is I look um, for a neutral and then I try and see if she's got anything in her closet that's gonna work with that. And sure enough, she did. She had the exact same color uh, in a poncho. And then we're gonna break it up with a black top. I did ask if she had gray or any of the other colors, but um, black is in the skirt. So that's gonna look really pretty. I have suggested um, belting the kimono so that it could almost work as a dress. So she would wrap that around and the skirt would be nice and big and she could add a belt here. Um, and then we've only got some little bracelets. And because this top, I hope you can see this, is a cowl neck, I haven't picked a long necklace that's gonna compete with it. I've picked a shorter one that's gonna lay flat on her neck um, and be nice and pretty, and it's a little half crescent moon. And then some bangles to add bling to the wrist. So that is look number three. Um, feminine, but also cozy and bohemian, because Danielle likes to be comfortable. So I'll, I did keep that in mind the whole time. Outfit number four is going to be a pair of dark jeans, black jeans, like I have on, but without the flowers. And her favorite jacket, which is this green one, badass green one with some nice leather sleeves, faux leather sleeves. I wanted to have some fun with this look and add a different, uh, different contrast of color, like the red. So this is an easy look, right? Like the black jeans and a nice cozy sweater. But what's unexpected is adding the green and the leather because you've got like a sweet shirt with hearts on it, but you're adding a bit of edge with uh, with the utility jacket. So I'm excited to see how that looks. I will probably ground it in black shoes or boots, um, depending on what she has. Um, and maybe I also thought about adding the gray beanie to bring in the gray and kind of do full circle. So that is look number four. And finally, look number five, this one might be my favorite, although I do love the leopard looks. Um, it's just so easy. She's got this cozy t-shirt dress that's nice fit and flare. Um, and then, oh man, waterfall cardigans that have a subtle pattern in them are just going to make any outfit at all elevated. She's just going to look fantastic. Um, is this reversible too? I don't think no, it's, it's meant not. to be. No. Um, the window pane is nice, the colors play well together, so I did want to add a bit of jewelry so that it wasn't such a basic look. Um, we've got her little button necklace, and to pick up on the charcoal black tones, we've got some um, silver jewelry. I don't know what I'm going to do for shoes, because I haven't looked at your shoes yet, but probably something black. I only own sneakers. Only so. own sneakers, so we're going to put... <laughs> oh, right, I remember that now. We're yeah. going to put sneakers with everything. Um, and that's look number five. So if you, if you guys have a t-shirt dress at home, one way to kind of make that appropriate for work is to add something like a waterfall cardigan that's just a little more fancy um, and professional. All right. Ooh, that is not focused. Okay, so let's start at the top with a rebellious clove beanie. These are what I've been affectionately calling outfit beanies. Sorry, I'm getting used to this mirror vlogging thing. So, outfit beanie, i.e., it's not meant to keep you warm, 
just meant to help you look cool. Uh, then we have on some Sherry Jeffrey jewelry. This is one she made for me, but I think you can still get it. Um, this is, I don't know how to, I don't know. Here, let's get closer so you can see better. It's just like a little gold metal, like, pebbly thing on a chain. There is a clasp. Um, she just made it a little longer for me is all. Then we have this awesome sweatshirt that I got from Walmart of all things. It's like 12 bucks. It's from the men's department and it's a 5XL. But like I love it because the sleeves are so long and so it's cozy and it's actually quite long. It covers my butt in the back. So I just like feels good. And then the piece de resistance. I know I sound really stupid saying that, but we have my brand new leopard print pants. Hello, this is gonna be a little awkward because to be honest, I forgot to film this before I left the house. I'm in happy thoughts and it's Sunday, so I'm working and this is outfit number two that Jesse put together for me. So I'm currently wearing the like super swishy t-shirt dress um, that's gray, sort of like a heathered gray. I have on this like window pane um, waterfall cardigan. It's kind of like stretched out of the neck, so it's very loose and casual. Uh, I'm also wearing leggings that you can't see uh, because it's fucking cold out. Sneakers. So there you go. There's your peek at that. <laughs> Uh, I also have on the necklace that she picked out. This is a button necklace that I made for the Claire closet forever ago. Um, I'm thinking about making more of them, like similar. Not quite the same. And then I also have on the bangles. This outfit is very comfortable. Um, the dress is torrid from probably like this past winter. The cardigan is from Pennington's from like three years ago, so yeah. Leopard print pants. These are from Pennington's. I don't know if I can link them. They were on clearance when I got them. Uh, socks are Skechers, like winners ones. Then I have on a black t-shirt. doesn't look black because of the lighting, but it is. Uh, it is tucked in a little here. Um, I liked the more casual vibes of it being like partially tucked in. Then I have on this like long knitted vest. The vest is just from Walmart. I got it from, it's like from the George line. I got it a couple years ago. I've barely worn it. Um, there is a good chance my hand was just over the microphone. I feel like an idiot. Anyway, so black t-shirt from Pennington's. Just their like basic shirts. I don't even know if they make them anymore. This one's pretty old and faded. Um, necklace is my grandfather's, and you can see the dust. Yeah, cool. Um, this is my grandfather's military button that he had made into a necklace for me, and um, my brother and sister and my mom have one. Then I'm also wearing a bracelet that I got from ASOS. I can't do it up any tighter, even though it definitely could go tighter. All right, so the outfit consists of black jeans. These are just ones from Pennington's that I picked up. I think they're still available. So they're black, sort of skinny. They're actually straight leg, but with my lymphedema, they turn into skinny jeans. Then we've got my heart sweater from Torrid. This is from two years ago now, so probably not available anymore. And then this jacket from Torrid as well. It has the like military look, I guess. Um, has the like faux leather sleeves. It's got like a knit panel underneath, so it fits well. And then it zips up the front and just sort of like cargo -y and cool. So um, it's actually really nice out today. And um, I was able to wear this instead of a winter coat, which made me pretty happy. Today is day five in the 
I'm styled for five days in a row challenge. Not quite in a row, because I didn't leave my house yesterday. Um, and it was snowing. And my last outfit was not snow appropriate. So, I'm gonna show you what I'm wearing right now. I'm not sure I'm going to keep part of it on, um, just because I think it might be a little much and I'm a little annoyed by the belt. That's, that's it. I, it's not that I don't like the outfit. It's just maybe I'm not going to belt it because I'll, I'll explain just a second. All right. So this is my outfit for today. Uh, this is the last one that Jessie put together for me. Her idea was to put a belt on it like over the kimono. So it sort of was like a jacket um, or like the kimono acted like a top. But here's the thing. The belt sits way up here. And you can see when this comes open that the skirt does not sit way up there. <laughs> and it annoys me that there's this space right here between the belt and the waistband of the skirt. And like I would probably wear this more open, right? Like this, instead of like this side, right? Um, so I'm just not feeling the belt. Otherwise, I'm going to take this off. Uh, can I do this one-handed? Oh, I can. Look at that. Um, okay. So, otherwise, I really like this outfit. You guys have seen this skirt before I made it, so there's no pockets. I should have accounted for that, but... It's like literally just a straight piece of fabric pleated with a waistband sewn on. So, um, and it's like a floral sort of looks like a camo with some pink in it. So, um, I quite like the kimono. It's cozy. It is warm enough out today that I don't need a jacket if I wear the kimono. But it is very overwhelming if I leave it closed, you know? Like if I wear it like this... Looks like I'm just wearing like a long cardigan, you know, that is stuck on my butt. Like this. I like this silhouette, you know. Um, okay, so ta skirt is one I made and there is a tutorial for it. It's like a live stream I did, I think, um, with a different fabric. And then this top is like a cowl neck top I've had forever. It's just sleeveless uh then the kimono is from knitwits couture now known as amelia rose.ca um so she is a local maker friend um she sells on etsy and i think her own website things like that so i will link it or i will link her website i don't think there's any more of these left this is one of like the cozy sweater ones but her stuff is all very beautiful then I have on my neck, which I think I've done up a little too tight, is this, just a second, I'm going to flip you around, is this moon and star necklace. I want to loosen it a little. It just feels like it's choking me, even though it's actually not that tight. This is, this was sent to me from the Happiness Boutique, um, and so it was gifted. I mean, I don't get a lot of gifted items, but this was gifted, and so, yeah. And then I have on a couple of bangles, 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 um, from the set that I've been wearing all week. I love bangles. They're kind of awesome. I like jingling. Anyway, so, uh, that's my look. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Jessie for building me a whole week's worth of clothes. You're welcome. Or wardrobe, yeah. I guess. Um, and now, Jessie, where can people find you? Oh, uh, so there are a couple places you can find me depending on what you're looking for. Um, I know we talked about the styling, but, and you guys are on YouTube. I do have a like small YouTube channel. Don't make fun of me. If you, I talk about mental health on my YouTube channel. So um, I'm crying, I'm ugly crying while I talk to someone uh, who's helping me <laughs> cope with some depression and anxiety. So, and I'm not, I'm not trying to, I'm laughing because, um, I embarrass myself a lot, but I'm okay with it for the greater good of other people and myself. I've come a long way from where I used to be. Mm. And so if you're looking for, if you don't want to feel alone, um, go, you can go to my YouTube channel. I will eventually put styling videos up there, 
Um, I'm working on it. But in terms of style stuff, you can go to my website, closetcandy.com, where I share tips and tricks. With um, two T's and two Y's. Two T's and two <laughs> Y's. That's true. <laughs> two T's. You'll do some sort of video thing there. <laughs> oh, the fact that you think I have that kind of technology. Right? No, okay. <laughs> um, and then Instagram, Closet Candy, two T's, two Y's. Facebook, same thing. It's just closet candy. All right. Yeah. All the links will be in the description mm -hmm. so you can find them. If you have any questions for Jesse, leave them in the comments because yeah. I'll make sure she sees them. Yeah, I'll come back and answer them. Yeah. For you. Have fun. Like any questions you've got. Yeah. Um, yeah, so thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Bye.